Thank you for having me. And I will follow the other speakers. <laughs> and the other speakers pay their attention to 1960s and 80s, and they were concerned with the immateriality. And I will advocate for a more theoretical approach. And it's a materialistic approach. So, what is the relationship between art and society? It wasn't explored thoroughly in the Czech Republic and Czechoslovakia during the 50s and 60s. There was a critique of dogmatic socialist realism and we left the Zdanov doctrine and a new debate emerged about realism. An important place where important were the thoughts of theoretician and aesthetician Josef Hlavacek. It was I would also like to mention Václav Formanek who expressed an opinion in 1957 in the magazine Art about odd and new problems of realism. And he said that art reflects reality, which is the idea of realism. So we can mirror the society, but also reflect it in a positive way. However, it could serve to society so it then be a consumption for the society and if the society will consume the art then it will be transferred into different dimension and art can serve as a tool for social realism one of the in-betweeners between society and artist is critic of the theory and it was called the social function of art and Václav Formanek published next year an analytic study about peculiarities of the social function and he emphasized that the basic of social function is ideology and he emphasized the abstract form and also the materialistic one and the artist is connected to the society he lives in and the condition he's he's living in and this will reflect in the tools which he uses he is concerned with the issue of transfer of art of artistic works into other languages and Formanek emphasized the social function and that we have to perceive the artistic work itself and the most aesthetic value has also a social function and it is also structured as a material as a system of material Next, I would like to mention Kvetoslav Hvatík. And his paper published in on the 4th International Congress of Aesthetics in Athens in 1960s. His article, Aesthetic Value of Aesthetic Function, was focused on the aesthetic values and functionality and he saw it as a era, he saw it as a together with aesthetic value and the perception of artwork should consider the transgression further beyond the borders of the artwork and art words in opposition to technological progress and Hvatik argumented that social function of aesthetics 
is also connected to the historic social basis and the aesthetic value could couldn't be objective anymore and he is he is mentioning it in his first article Rusina Grebenichkova aka Helena Matoshova in her art 1957 article deals with the artwork of the general public and how to transfer it to the general public and she perceives the art as a communication tool and he, she also mentions its lack of understandability and it could be enhanced by selection of the wrong form and the artistic values can't be comprehended easily. We have to deal with the real problems with society and according to, to Grebenichkova, to quote, the, recep the receiver is not a passive addressee, end of quote. And we cannot impose a passivity on him. We can also mention Hollywood films, which were really getting great production. According to Grebenichkova, it is crucial to focus into another path in order to understand the inner self and society. We also need to deal with the society as a whole and the education aspect of the audience. However, we cannot function it from the outside. And the debate about the relationship between art and society became became more structural in 1957 i would like to mention the importance of josef lavacek he received his ma in aesthetics and he worked under supervision of John Dway. And then he went on to work for Czechoslovakian Institute of Sciences. And his dissertation thesis dealt with possibility of sociological methods in aesthetics and his perception of relationship between artists and society can be measured in the quote of William Yates. The artwork is a social act of a lonely individual, end of quote. Hlavacek is concerned with the social impact and how the individual artwork of an artist is framed into the society and we want to focus on the moment of perception and also on the material basic basis. Hlavacek also asked a question how the one artwork becomes a artwork of the whole society and he says that in the process of the wor working on the artwork, the artist becomes a member of the whole society. Quote, and the action of the artist is reflected in the society and he restructures the society, end quote.
Hlavacek in his dissertation defines artwork as a materialistic object and which functions on a basis that it is also socially functional. And I will actually quote of the Robert Fila, which who says that art is what make life interesting, end quote. Hlavacek also mentions the impact of Theodor Adorn and his lecture, 1966 lecture in Prague at Bratislava. Adorn's thesis that art contains critical and emancipational function in terms of society is accepted in the whole sets of thoughts. And he published his paper in 1967 and it was translated in 2015. Adorn's answer on the relationship of art and society is reflected after the Osvietim, after the after Osvietim, Auschwitz. The opinion that the artwork is active and fundamental aspect of social life really enhanced his opinion. And in 1970, in 1970, he was discharged of his scientific work. Thanks to, through the work of Jerzy Kolar, he understood that the consequences of his work. Hlavacek works include the work of typo, interpre typo interpretation. It is a set of strange graphic sheets and uh, in my opinion they develop the issue further and other interpret and this work which was developed in 1980s was a time when this tool was no longer valid. Hlavacek first wrote a short text which characterized a work of a certain author. Then he modified it into graphic version. And it was a creative work and also educational way how to interpret his opinions and the validity of a new text. Maybe you can see it better in here. You can see the texts and the final typo interpretations. In my opinion, it's a pity that he was allowed only to send New Year's cards to his friends and other colleagues. And he was a good friend with Jiří Kolář, and their friendship was very important. And they discussed the social value of artworks and its potential, and it is reflected in, the, in Hlavacek's articles. If we perceived Hlavacek Hlavacek's explanation as a translator from one discourse into another, from philosophical, from philosophical social, from philosophic to social language, we can see that it can be perceived that way. I suggest to understood to understand this graphic works as a new work. That's why I, I named my work in between. 
because it connects two different spheres. As you can see, we have the typo interpretations right here. Maybe I will slow down a bit in order for you to see them carefully. In this case, Hlavacek wrote a short text and each letter is characterized by a number, one, two, six, and then he decided about their structure. And when he got the number to the letter, then he created the artwork. And the artwork was created, and if he knew the exact rules, then we would understand his interpretation of the artwork. Um, this is a similar piece of work, uh, Stratil's Strata. We have four short texts uh, that are uh, that follow Stratil's work, and uh, most illustrative example is uh, Boštík's Field. Here you clearly see references to works by uh, Boštík. That's all on my part.